Hi guys and welcome to Raffalina's American Girl Doll channel. In today's video I'm going to go through uh, my opinion of the greatest of all time American Girl Dolls. Uh, again these are my own thoughts about American Girl Dolls that are the greatest of all time. They're not necessarily the most expensive dolls which is the best in my opinion. Um, and I picked six dolls because I think the greatest of all time dolls should be kind of rarish, so I didn't want to pick 10. I thought that would be too many. This is actually really hard to do, and please don't get offended if, like, it's not your favorite character. These are just my opinion of the, the greatest of all time dolls. And if you have other ideas as to what which dolls you think are the best, just put them down below in the comments and let me know what you think of this video. Um, I focus on Girl of the Year dolls, contemporary characters, friend dolls, historical dolls, um, basically the dolls with stories because for this kind of a video I felt like a truly me doll while they might be cute um, or even a create your own might be cute um, if it doesn't have like a story to go along with it and like a collection it just doesn't seem like it would be a, the greatest of all time right because the reason we remember the greatest of all time is that you know they have a character behind the doll so please remember to comment like and subscribe and thanks to everyone who's subscribed thus far you guys are all awesome so I'm just going to put here, just real quickly, all the Girl of the Years released. There's a ton of them. Um, originally, as some people have noticed before, um, they were actually released every two years. Like Lindsay Bergman was from 2001 to 2003. And then sometime around Jess, they started releasing them yearly. And then Crystal's the only one who had like two friend characters. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to throw those up there. Um, also, historical characters are fair game. Um, and then the contemporary characters uh, like Tenny and Logan. So I'm going to count backwards. So starting with five and actually I have a one and I have a zero and that's why and zero would be like the best in my opinion. Um, and so um, that's why there's six. So number five is Grace Thomas. She's girl of the year of 2015. Um, I think a lot of people actually like her collection. She's this amazing kitchen. It was extremely expensive at the time. I do not have it. It's also huge. Um, the retail was about, I think, $500. And again, this was um, six years ago. And so if you go on um, eBay or like some secondhand market like Macari, I think it to get the... I'm not sure if you can even buy the full kitchen in box like new anymore. Um, if so, it's probably $2,000 or upwards of that. Um, sometimes you can find pieces or like the sink or, or like some pieces of them um, online um, that'd be a little bit cheaper but it just was an amazing it was just amazing to go to American Girl Doll store see it it's just like really cool I also liked it she liked baking um she was actually one of the first of the girl of the years to like travel to a foreign country and that was cool um at the time and she traveled to France and I just thought she had a really great collection well thought out and cute outfits. So I'm giving her five. And then greatest of all time doll number four um, is Rebecca Rubin. So this is her in her older outfit. That's her in her actually be forever meet outfit with her um, parlor table, which you can also get her Sabbath set and her um, Hanukkah set and other items to her collection. She's from 1914 era and the reason I kind of picked her these I go through for each doll uh, the reasons she lives in New York City at a very cool time 1914 it's not the ro roaring 20s but it's like before then and it's kind of like this in between Victorian era leading into roaring 20s it's kind of a neat time period she has an interest in theater which I thought was cool really beautiful outfits I love her outfits I have Rebecca in my collection and I I just have a lot of her older outfits and then her newer outfits. She's uh, Russian Jewish. Um, I think she is the first and maybe only Jewish historical character. Um, there are very few actually Jewish dolls from American Girl. Um, there is Lindsay Bergman, who is a girl of the year. Um, so it was kind of nice to see that bit of diversity as well as that she's Russian. Her family is an immigrant family. She was born in the U.S., but... Um, she comes from an immigrant family, so I thought that was kind of really neat about her, and that's why I put her in this place of four. Greatest of all time, doll number three, drumroll, I'm going to put, is Kaya. So Kaya's a really cool doll. Her collection is pretty amazing. Um, some of it's retired now, but 
still uh, quite impressive. She's from 1764. It's supposed to be this kind of pre-contact era, I think um, they call it, but it would have been cooler maybe if she had been earlier, like um, before 1492 perhaps. Um, but again, that's my personal opinion. Um, the reasons for her being in this position, she is a Native American doll, the first Native American doll, or at least 100% Native American doll that American Girl released. She was supposed to be pre-contact. Um, her outfits are pretty amazing, very, very detailed. They were the result of a lot of different collaborations with um, Native American tribes in the U.S. And just I thought that was really neat. I know it took them a long time to come up with every single outfit and a lot of the pieces of her collection, but they just make it so much more um, unique and amazing. So I really like that part, part about her collection. She has really lovely hair, very long, and she's overall rather amazing. And she's actually also in my list of dolls that I wish to um, sort of adopt, I guess you could say, this year. Um, I'm hoping to purchase at some point, maybe this year. She's really cool. Now, for the drum roll, greatest of all time, number two, which is actually three from the top position, is Ivy Ling. So here she is in a couple of very different outfits. I'm not crazy about her meat outfit, so I didn't show a picture of her in her meat outfit. I really like her New Year's outfit. I like this other like play outfit she has with the bandana. Just really quite neat. She's from the 1960 era. She's like a friend doll of Julie. I'm not a huge fan of her being a friend doll, but since it's an American Girl thing, um, and a lot of the more diverse characters tend to be friends. Um, that's just kind of a bummer in general about American Girl, but that's hopefully changing. Um, but the reason I like her, she's Chinese-American, um, which makes her rather unique. She's really cute, um, put already, and she has some really cute outfits. She's retired, unfortunately, so Julie's available, but Ivy's retired. I think she's, again, an overall amazing doll. Um, would have been nice maybe if she had had more of her character develop, kind of, separate from Julie a little bit more but um again that's just sort of my opinion please let me know in the comments what you think of my ordering if you'd have maybe bumped her up a little bit further also like I don't see her too too much you know on social media um but I think she's just really cute a lot of people like Jess a lot and I also love Jess but I feel like Ivy is a little bit you know less well loved and so that's what I think part, part of my reason why I really like her and I put her in greatest of all time. Greatest of all time doll number one, I put Leah Clark. So Leah Clark is Girl of the Year 2016. She has this amazing rainforest as part of her collection and um, and I really like that she was into kind of saving these animals. I guess she's a little bit like Kira who's Girl of the Year this year. She is Hispanic. Um, some people critique that she's like maybe only one eighth or something, but um, most Hispanics are like, you know, of somewhat European descent. So that to me isn't really a complaint about her. Um, and I think um, she still represents uh, a large segment of the Hispanic population. Um, and she has this really cool rainforest house as I showed you. She's a really cute doll. She has this amazing long hair. It's just a beautiful color. Um, I'll show it to you again there. It's very long. Um, I have a couple of videos kind of comparing her to Nanea and some you know, other dolls. Her hair is actually longer than Nanea's. It's longer than Truly Me 55's. It's a beautiful caramel color. You can't get this hair color wig from American Girl that much. And there's also a certain coloring to her face. It's very unique that some people have talked about online that you really can't just find. She's not just your average Josefina face mold, medium skin, if you know what I mean. There was a lot more work that was done on her face paint and making her unique looking. Also, her eyes are really pretty colored and not your generic hazel eyes from American Girl. So I just kind of put her in overall amazing and um, some people have listed her as like one of the top girl of the years and I, I kind of agree with that. Um, and that brings us to the next greatest of all time doll, which is Zero Doll, which is the highest rank, in my opinion. Um, and that is Addie. I love Addie a lot. And, um, this is a picture I found online from her, the old Pleasant Company. I just like the old Pleasant Company Addie. Um, I think the face is prettier 
um, and I, I guess I'm a little bit nostalgic about it. It's kind of more how I remember her. I was really happy to see the 35th anniversary edition of Addie, which unfortunately is now sold out. I really love the original meat pink outfit dress, and um, there's her in her stilting outfit. I think it's just really overall really cute doll. Um, she's from 1864. I think it's really is important to sort of our era for girls to learn about. I mean, also Kaya's era. Like, all of the eras are important for different reasons, but... Um, you know, I just, I think it's also really important. And she overcomes so many challenges in, in her life that, you know, it's just a really good character, I think. Um, her outfits are actually really lovely. Some of them are really cute. Um, I have some of her more older Pleasant Company kind of stuff and some of her collection, like her sled. And a lot of detail went into that. And I kind of miss some of the that level of detail being in the newer dolls. So I would like to see kind of them bring back American, if American Girl was to bring back more of like the older way of doing things with the really really detailed accessories as well as the dolls. Maybe not as many accessories as they used to have but some you know more for the collectors I think would be really cool. And so I'll say she's kind of also an overall amazing doll. And as a recap since I picked six dolls um, the two kind of top I guess would Addie followed by Leah. And then, um, I actually think it was Kaya followed by Ivy, um, but they're kind of in that like sort of silverish tier. And then bronze would be Rebecca and Grace. Um, let me know what you guys think of my greatest of all time dolls. Um, I tried to mix it up a little bit. I have actually, um, kind of a mixture of girl of the year and historicals. Like when I was putting this together, I wanted it to be more evenly balanced. But it actually looks like I picked four historicals and two girl of the years. But one of the historicals is Ivy, who's actually a friend doll. So, you know, it's it's definitely a little bit of a mixture. Um, what do you think? You know, let me know in the comments. Do you guys agree? Do you have other dolls you think should have made this list? Again, this is just my opinion. I was trying to, like, think of all the best dolls and then, like, you know, narrow it down to six. I do not have Ivy yet in my collection or Kaya. Those are ones that... I am interested in purchasing um, but you know let me know what you think um, please remember to comment like and subscribe thanks to everyone who su subscribed so far you guys are all awesome and amazing and I love uh, interacting with you on my channel and um, please remember to keep on loving dolls and I'll see you again in the next video okay bye